All right, guys. Well, I finally got all the valves out, and so far everything went good until I got to that step. Uh, I had two exhaust valves, especially that were just the valve guys were just so seized in there. Uh, I really had a hard time getting them out. Um, the intakes were really easy, and looking at the uh, seats on the intakes, uh, they're pretty much perfect. Uh, however, the exhaust valve seats are uh, pretty bad. You ain't going to be able to tell in the camera, but uh, especially this one here, there's actually a, like a, a ridge going around um, the, the, the facing of it, so that will definitely need to be uh, taken care of. Um, not just going to be able to, to lap them and and uh, put them back together, but um, that's okay because this this particular engine has the old style uh, valves, as you can see on the end here. They're not uh, straight like you normally see. That's actually mushroomed out. These are the non-adjustable uh, type, and if I take uh, one of these lifters out, you can also see on the lifter where the valve just touches it and they go up and down. Uh, normally you would have uh, a little bolt and a, and a locking nut that you can adjust the uh, the um, the gap in between the valve and the lifter or, or in this case they call them tappets. Um, so you can't even buy these anymore. Uh, they're obsolete so that's okay. So I'm just going to get all new uh, valves and springs and everything so this is what the whole assembly looks like when you are able to actually get it out they just pull out from the top you have a little uh, clip here that helps hold everything together and the the valve guides and uh, where here's they're actually split like that so you can open them up and then when they're together, right here is where the uh, valve rides up and down. Uh, you can't get these either. All this uh, valve parts are no longer available. Um, they're just the the new ones are one piece, which is a lot better. Um, the one exhaust valve that I was telling you I had so much problems with, uh, I finally got disgusted, and actually I cut the the spring with the uh, air tool, and uh, so I could get a good direct hit and hit up on it. Uh, to get it up out of the um, the valve. It was unbelievable. I couldn't believe how hard that was, but uh, I normally don't like to destruct things, but I, I wasted like two hours on that thing trying to get it out the normal way. Uh, right now I'm pulling all the uh, head studs out. Um, i got several of them out already. So far, so good. Um, how I like to do it, um, I just put two nuts on top of each other tighten them or you'd be tightening the top one loosening uh, the bottom one and then it ends up getting real tight and all you got to do is then get the bottom one and pretend that you're well not pretending but I really can't do that with one hand but uh, it does come out uh, a lot easier I know a lot of people I've seen just get uh, vice grips and grab it and turn it um, if they come out easily, I guess that ain't too bad, but uh, I don't want to run the risk of uh, chewing these up and uh, having to get new ones, so I'm just going to take them out and then put them on the uh, wire wheel and shine them up, and I also like to to uh, redo the threads to get any of the, the gook out. Uh, that way when you go to put the head back on, when you're assembling it, it uh, you get a true reading of the uh, the torque specs. Uh, if you have a lot of garbage in there, you might not be tightening it as much as you uh, think you are, and that could lead to uh, major problems later on. But I did get slowed down uh, with the holidays and everything, and but uh, hopefully get back on schedule here and uh, get this thing tore down. Next step is to to take all the the little lifters out and uh, the camshaft, and after that it'll be uh, a bare block. Everything will be. Uh, ready to get sent to the machine shop, have this uh, exhaust valve uh, valve seats put in and um, uh, deck the head probably and uh, the head, or deck the block I mean and shave the head uh, the crankshaft get it turned down and uh, a lot of other things so 
Well, I think this is video number six, and uh, hopefully there'll be uh, more videos to come soon. I just wanted to give a little update on uh, what was going on. We'll talk to you later, guys.